Welcome to Rundle Mall TV, I'm your host Stephanie Robertson. We're here at the construction site of Rundle Place, the newest addition to Rundle Mall. Let's go and have a sneak peek and see what we can find. Let's take a walk through the colours in the air. We're here with Justin Dangerfield, the centre manager of Rundle Place. Justin, we've heard that some Canadian brands are coming to the centre. Can you tell us a bit about these? Certainly can. We've got uh, Point Zero, Joshua Perrotts and La Vie en Rose uh, opening their first stores in Australia. Um, La Vie en Rose is uh, upmarket lingerie. Uh, Point Zero is casual wear and uh, Joshua Perrotts ready to wear tyre. So we're, uh, we're very much looking forward to them opening. And what other retailers will we be seeing in the centre? We've got Ted Baker opening their okay. third store in Australia. Um, we have Peter Jackson opening their first menswear store outside of Melbourne. Um, we have Seduce opening, I think, only their second store in South Australia. Um, so we have a number of new to market South Australian brands as well. Wonderful. And now this is a lovely space for a food court. Can you tell us a bit about the dining experience? This is what we call 77, your place to eat. So it's, it's our food court. It's very much different to any other food court you'll see around town or in pretty much any other shopping centre. We have some themed areas. We have our croquet pitch over there. We have a sort of Alice in Wonderland type theme. Yeah. Around the place, 450 seats, a variety of different food retailers. Um, it's not a traditional food court. We don't have the fast food offers that you might see in some others. We've gone for more boutique, more boutique brands, um, and we're very pleased with the offer as it's going to be. Yeah, absolutely. And what sort of investments have been made into the centre? Well, excluding the fit-outs from the retailers, which would run to the tens of millions of dollars as well, the Pacific Group, the owner of the shopping centre, has spent about $385 million developing the base building. So it's a significant investment. We're here with Vince, the store manager of Coles Rundle Place. So Vince, what's the importance of Coles in Rundle Place? Well, Stephanie, the first store opened in South Australia in 1932 okay. in Rundle Mall and it closed in 1985. So here we are 28 years later, back in the mall. Yeah, wonderful. And we've heard a lot about the grab and go section yes. of um, Coles. Can you tell us a little bit more about that today? Yeah, grab and go is mainly for, uh, we're looking at uh, lunch. Uh, for office workers and so forth. So we have right. an extensive range of, uh, of drinks and also sandwiches and, and sushi. Why are you personally looking forward to opening Coles in Rundle Place? Well, I've been with the company for 32 years and I started in the business in 1980 at the old Rundle Mall store. Okay. So to me, it's like coming back home. As part of Rundle Place, we also have Harris Scarves joining us in its original location. With a broad range of women's and men's fashion, there's something here for everyone. As well as all the usual things that you'll find in Harris scarves, such as homewares and children wear. And that's just a sneak peek of the new exciting Rundle Place. With over 70 specialist stores, including Harris Scarfs and Coles, you're bound to find something, including a beautiful food court and free Wi-Fi throughout the whole building. Go to rundlemall.com for more information. I'm Stephanie Robertson, host of Rundlemall TV, and I'll see you in Rundle Place. Hey.